Hey Mary, back with another video. I made a video earlier, but something weird happened to it, so I'm going to go ahead and remake this video. This is a video basically um, summarizing my thoughts this weekend that I had. Um, not a bad weekend. Um, I did feel a little bit better. Got some housework done. I'm very proud of myself. But I was putting some things into perspective. And, you know, I realized that my sister Tanya Culligan and her husband Jim Culligan are afraid of my success because um, although my my aspirations are very humble um, you know Jim Culligan is the kind of person who has been indoctrinated into believing that his little cult ideas are the right and only way to exist and live and so you know throughout the years he has always you know I remember when I was studying with Joseph this is he would like to nitpick and create little debates and arguments and stuff and it was never something that he could just accept that you know I was doing my own thing it was something he felt like you know he always wanted to add his two cents in which I felt was you know kind of annoying but whatever um but as time went on I figured you know I'm an adult I live my life I'm living over here he lives in Montrose California and I saw them like every once in a while for holidays or whatever. I never thought that this was something that just really burned him up. Um, apparently, um, you know, he has convinced a lot of people in this community and other places that he and his wife, Tanya, my former sister, my former family, I should say, has some sort of authority over me. Now, I find this extremely offensive. Um, and uh, intrusive and just downright like you know it, it really it throws me off because it's like how could you be so obnoxious to think that you have authority over someone that is just like to me like I can't even I can't even wrap my brain around that sort of evil I cannot okay but I can assure you she has no legal right over me um, I'm over the age of 18 I'm well past the age, over the age of 18 um, it is absurd to think that somebody would have that sort of uh, authority over another human being. So what's why I find it surprising. But the thing is, is that, you know, Jim Culligan and Tanya like to wear this mask. You know, I'm sure over the phone they sound like they're very, you know, competent people. They're nobodies, okay? They are absolute nobodies, okay? I think Jim does repair work on certain sets. Um, and they live in like a one-bedroom apartment. Not that there's anything wrong with that, because there's not, okay? But I'm saying is when you're in a feeling, when they feel com like a, a need to compete with you, which I have no interest in competing with these people at all, I don't even really know exactly what my sister Chinese title is. I think she's like a lactation specialist or something. I don't really know where she works. I don't pay attention. I don't care. But in her mind and in Jim's mind, a cult-type behavior, cults, okay, feel like, well, you know, we want her to be a part of what we believe, and we don't think people should have certain positions unless, of course, you believe what we believe, okay? Because that would look like that that would appear to other people that, that you don't need their ideology in order to be blessed or something along those lines. So they create the blessings. They create the cursings. And they act as though these are from acts from God. This is the, the cult-like uh, behavior that you get from these sort of people, okay? Um, I am under no obligation to adhere to their religious views or any other lifestyle views as well. Um, I find it very, um, I mean, just like, you know, uh, offensive that my sister Tanya would take it upon herself to feel as though I needed some of her co co coaching. You know, she feels this way because Tanya has completed advanced degrees. I believe she's a, she holds a master's degree. And work for her, you know, whatever. But, um, you know, she feels as though that gives her some sort of status, okay, in her mind. And it makes her feel as though she's far more competent. She knows more. And it bothers her to no end that uh, she knows that I really don't need her. And that makes her feel really bad about herself. And she does feel bad about herself, okay? How could you be, feel good about yourself if you do these sort of things for another person? If you're happy with your life, you don't have the need to uh, bully another person, okay? Um, but she feels that way. She feels completely diminished by who I am. And she liked it the way it used to be. She liked it when I was younger and that I was that kid that they could bully on the playground. And she has always been a narcissistic person, but hit it quite well, I will say, okay? 
because you know she has that whole church front and everything and she comes off as very pleasant and kind and everything but that woman is narcissistic to the core they don't belong in my life okay i i don't want anything to do with my family okay uh, jim culligan to me has gone way too far in promoting himself okay and try way too far in trying to promote his ideology and trying to make somebody submit to his whims okay i don't want anything to do with that at all okay i don't care what kind of excuses they're using you know um, i know my sister's coming up with these bullshit excuses and everything I, I don't have anything to do with her and i don't want anything to do with her okay i'm very angry and more than angry, I fucking hate those people, okay? I do. I hate them very much, okay? But I'm getting this, I'm, in, I'm seeing things, you know, in a certain perspective. I'm putting things in perspective. And I realize that they, they feel so threatened because they are used to always feeling as though they've always had the upper hand. They had the upper hand when I was unaware that they were the cause of the years of trauma. They were the cause of the years of all the terrorism that would take place in the place. These are the people, okay? And they wanted to always have it that way. This is what they've always wanted. And um, I, I uh, am shocked that these people would go to this sort of great length to do what they've done, you know? Um, I have, you know, mentioned to my, uh, my previous employers before that these people don't belong in my life. And I know that my sister Tanya is responsible because I remember back in 2015 or 2016, I think it was 2015, when I posted an article on LinkedIn, my sister Tanya checked my LinkedIn page. Okay, so I have proof that she's behind this. She checked my LinkedIn page, okay? And there's a way that you can go and, onto a person's LinkedIn page and do it hidden, like where you can hide your identity, but she was too stupid, she probably didn't think about doing it. And not soon after that, Karen Johnson endorsed me for a customer service skill, which I thought was probably Jim Culligan's idea because he feels as though anybody who doesn't belong to his stupid cult doesn't deserve to be in a position such as what I'm capable of doing. So, um, I realized you know, not all families are supportive, okay? And this is what I'm, my message is for other TIs, okay? If you're in this situation, if you have this high level targeting, you have to come to the conclusion or you have to accept the fact, okay? That your family is involved in your targeting, okay? Because targeting will not go on to this extent unless, of course, it cannot go on to this extent unless, of course, there is someone in your life that is probably your family who is manipulating these strings, okay? They're doing it, it is illegal, okay? But they are deceiving many people because of that particular family relationship that you have with them. Like it can be an ex-spouse, it can be a sibling or whatever. My sister Tanya, you know, thinks that she is smarter, more intelligent, whatever, and because she holds a master's degree, she uses this to try to convince other people. Well, my sister, you know, Maria, she doesn't have a master's degree. I do. And I know what, you know, she needs. She doesn't know what I need, okay? I never discussed my career goals with my family, okay? They live, my sister Lisa lived over in Lancaster. My sister Tanya and her husband lived over in Montrose. I would see them every once on a holiday, once a while, on every holiday or something like that. And I never ever sat down and asked them for their guidance. Well, I, yeah, none of that stuff. These people have been working things behind the scenes forever, okay? And getting off on it, because this is the sort of stuff that they do, all right? Um, I don't want anything to do with, uh, you know, these people. I don't want them in my life. I don't care about them. I don't want to think about them or remember them, okay? But something is very wrong with my sister Tanya. I know she had paranoia, paranoia episodes when I was growing up. Um, Tanya has a lot of repressed anger. Um, she's in a very jealous type of person. Um, you have to be jealous, okay, if you do this sort of stuff, okay? Something, somebody who sits there and monitors what you eat, uh, worries about all these sort of things because she feels threatened by that. She's very 
jealous, okay? And this is why she's doing what she's doing, okay? Uh, because I can assure you it's against my will. She is guilty of trafficking a human being is what she's doing. she is, okay? Um, so anyway, I'm going to get off here because I'm getting really tired. But this really is for other targeted individuals. Please understand and wake up. Smell, you know, wake up and realize that your family is doing this to you. And I know you, you, it, it, for some of you, it might be very shocking because when you're a perp, you can play this two, this double game. You don't have that kind of conscience. Like, I could never work someone over like these people have worked me. And then, like, you know, feel like I could sit there and have a conversation and stuff like that with these people. I, I would never be able to do that without any feeling of guilt. But they don't have that sort of guilt, okay? They don't, they don't feel that way because they're narcissistic. And that's, chances are your family's narcissistic too. So it, it's time to wake up and accept things for, for the way that they really are. And do the best you can, you know, keep on with your dreams, your, your goals, your life. This is your way of living. And you have a right to do that. So anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope you all have a wonderful evening, and I'll be back with another video some other time. Bye-bye.